Fresh out of the mailbox, we got a new Latafa fragrance that just touched down. Apparently, it's supposed to be inspired by a JPG fragrance, Le Beau Paradis, which I personally haven't smelled. Now, being a Jean-Paul Gaultier kind of non-fanboy, but appreciating a few of the fragrances, I'm kind of 60-40. I'm more excited than not. Usually, it'd be a 70-30, absolutely not looking forward to it. But in this case, with the success I've been having lately and enjoying some JPG fragrances, we might have found a winner. I can't tell you if it's inspired by that or if it's truly one to one, but I can tell you if it's good, at least to me. Let's roll map the music so we can check out La Tafa Najdia Intense and see if we got a new cheapie we gotta add to the stash. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. It's here to the U to the B to the A. Let's see if we got a new Latafa fragrance that's going to be put up in the mantle of other sexy Latafa fragrances. They've been taking over and finally getting some of the inspirational fragrances that are deviating from the traditional DNA. Let's be clear. There's a lot of budget brands that like to go for the same kind of DNA, so they're deviating, so that already has me excited. But let's get into the fragrance presentation, then we'll tap into some notes and see if we found a good gem. So here's what the box looks like, if you care. I was surprised that it has a little soft kind of felty kind of material here. It has a big weed leaf right here, Najdia Intense, if that's how it's even pronounced. And let's take a look at the presentation. Definitely similar to the other Najdia that we have, the original, the OG version, only this is a gray felt, also soft material here as well. It's got that nice leaf on the front, not a very fancy presentation, nobody gives a shit, but it's a budget option, so it's not gonna break the bank, right? But let's check out some notes. So according to Vagrantica, the notes are as follows. Ginger, mint, pineapple, followed by apple, marine notes, lavender, geranium, sandalwood, tonka bean, patchouli and musky. I mean, sounds good. There's a couple of JPG fragrances that do have pineapple in it. That's kind of like a sickly pineapple, a little bit like, ugh. So I don't know what to expect. Again, it's supposed to be in the space of Le Beau Paradise. I haven't watched any videos on that fragrance either because I definitely don't go around looking for videos of JPG fragrances or anybody reviewing anything because I just don't care. All right, so here we go. Let's check out what type of vibe. First impression time. Let's see what kind of projection, see uh, sex appeal, if it's mass, if it's worth it. Even though you're not going to break the bank, it's still got to be money spent, right? So we want to make sure that it's good. Here we go. Okay. It's definitely fuckboy energy. It's sweet and herbal at the same time. You get lavender, you get a ton of green watery notes. You get a lot of sweet energy. It's a little bit of like YSL Y-ish, bumped up green notes, a little bit of a sugarier essence and like subliminal amber in this scent. This is actually pretty fucking nice. So it does have a juvenile aspect to it. It does feel youthful, playful, and really it's what I would categorize as like young fuckboy energy, which is me just speaking in pure hating form, right? I'm just jealous. I'm old, I'm washed up, bad hip, bad back, my neck hurts. I need to take a pill every now and then and I'm not talking about Tylenol, but it's actually good, man. There's a very nice green watery essence about this fragrance. It's very playful, it's very fun. It is Yves Saint Laurent Y with a greener aspect if you threw pineapple in there as well. Let's try it on skin. All right, let's go right on skin, right? Because the skin determines what we're going to get out of this fragrance. So far, I'm surprisingly enjoying it, even though it's a little bit of a juvenile fuckboy type scent. I'm not opposed to rocking this shit. I, I'm kind of digging it. Maybe because I'm just trying to find the fountain of youth and, you know, I just want to go back to my teen childhood before children and wives when I had multiple girlfriends and was doing inappropriate things with strippers. Oh, okay. It's formulating a little nicer on the skin. Green, watery off the skin with a little bit of a vetiver punch that amber is still present much better on the skin than I interpreted off the test strip. A lot better, at least off of my skin, it smells a ton better. It's a little bit on the soapy side. It still has fuckboy energy, but this is definitely going out, date night, party vibes. Gonna go smoke a hookah, play a little pocket pool with some random chick next to you with consent. This shit is actually pretty fucking good. But it's got a nice bubble around it. You can definitely smell it. Damn, let me let this dry down a little bit more. Wow, this is a little fucking better than I thought. Shit. All right, I'm at full dry down with this scent. I haven't been digging my nose in it. Obviously, I've been getting wafts in the air, but let me dig my nose into the full dry down to see what kind of experience I'm getting from this Latin. Off a cheapie. You know what? Sometimes an uncomplicated scent profile just works. And this is a fragrance that off of my skin just happens to work. Yes, it's a little bit juvenile. It is a 
partyish type fragrance. If it is in fact inspired by JPG Paradise, then I can see where that JPG fuckboy DNA comes from. It is sweet, but not overly sweet off of my skin. On the test strip, it does pop very syrupy pineapple. But in actuality, for it being an uncomplicated fragrance, it has body, it has sweetness, it has a lot of mass appeal, and it's wildly uncomplicated. A little bit of dirtiness coming from the patchouli, it is pulpy sweet, it is green note, aquatic -y, wet, dewy, and a little bit of an unusual kind of, I guess, patchouli slash nutmeg cumin ish kind of funk there, adding some body while it being complemented by this clean musk sensation. I don't think this is gonna be a fragrance that's gonna completely revolutionize your nose. Like, oh shit, this is something completely different. You're not getting that. You're getting something that just kind of works. It's an easy scent profile. It's uncomplicated. You can kind of smell a mishmash of a bunch of other designer fragrances in this scent. But for me, it doesn't really speak to just one scent. Again, I use that YSL Y reference as an overall youthful type energy. Luckily, off of my skin, it does provide a little bit more body. But overall, it smells fucking nice on my skin. I could definitely see the compliment grabbing factor here. If JPG Le Beau Garden Paradise or whatever the fuck is called smells like this, I can 100% see why a ton of people like it, especially on the younger demographic. I'm curious to see what Ja or my wife think about this fragrance. I think overall they're gonna share the same consensus. It's a nice scent, doesn't blow my nuts off, but it has that sexy compliment getting factor. Again, going back to the original statement, you don't gotta overcomplicate your life to smell good. And in this case, it's not only smelling good, it's not breaking the bank either. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you gotten your nose on this new release, Nyjah Intense Fry Latafa? And does it in fact smell like Paradise by JPG? Let me know in the comments below. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this joint. I think it lives under that $50, $40 space. But consider this shit like a little stocking stuffer for yourself. Fuck everybody else. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Uh, for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>